Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. I post weekly how-to video tutorials right here on my YouTube channel, but in this video I'm sharing with you my latest Tuesday morning haul. my previous haul videos you can imagine I picked up some crazy bargains and if you don't know about Tuesday morning definitely check them out they basically have everything okay imagine going to some big department stores and pulling all their clearance sections and dumping it onto one big store that's kind of like how I like to describe Tuesday morning there's just a little bit of everything so it's worth walking down every single aisle to see what they have my first stop when I get in there is definitely the crafts aisle. Now this is a magnetic pin cushion. And most of you, if you sew or quilt, are probably familiar with these. Most of us have them now. And the difference between this one and say something like this that I have in my studio as well, is that you can see all the pins are on top. It's great for keeping them there. But if I need to take this with me to travel in the car, to a workshop or a class, this is not gonna work. So I picked up this one at Tuesday morning because it has a lid on it. So not only do the pins stay in place, it comes with 15 pins as well. The pins stay in place stuck on the magnet. You can add more here from your own stash. You can put the lid on it to protect it. So even if this drops or falls, your pins are not gonna go flying everywhere. So this is a must have now in my studio, especially for taking to workshops and classes. And then another thing that I figured out only after I opened it was that on the bottom here, you slide this off and it has another compartment to keep more pins in here. So it says open and you can see you just open it up right here and stash away more of your pins. This is like genius, okay? So if you sew or quilt, definitely head on over to your local Tuesday morning and see if they have this one. It's the Dritz, it's made by Dritz. It's called the Ultimate Pin Caddy. So the regular price on this is $9.97 and the Tuesday morning price, get ready, $2.99. $2.99. You pay like $10, 8 to $10 for these ones that don't have the lid, don't have the extra compartment, you can't take it with you to travel. $2.99, I mean seriously, go out and grab one, okay? Now I want to show you something that I picked up on a different aisle of Tuesday morning that I haven't shared with you in the past. They actually have a whole aisle, at least in my store, of food and snacks and gourmet foods and things like that. So one thing that I picked up this time was this little tin of 50 tea bags comes in here and it's organic red velvet caffeine free tea. They have all kinds of green teas and different flavors and things, but I can't do caffeine. If I have a little caffeine, I'll be up for like 40 hours. So I got this caffeine free tea and it's USDA organic. It's regular price is 10 and I got it for $4.99 at Tuesday morning. It's great, I thought I would give it a try. I haven't tried it yet, but I will give it a try and I'll post on my Facebook page and Instagram what I think about it so you guys can check that out. Now we'll head over to the kitchen area, which is one of my favorites, but some things that I've been looking at is actually getting a ceramic knife. I see them all over the web and people swear by them so I wanted to pick one up and I was able to and if you notice the brand on this, it's KitchenAid. I have a KitchenAid mixer that I've had for almost 17 years now, and when my grandmother gave it to me, it was used. So KitchenAid, definitely a name and brand that we trust and know, right? So I picked up this ceramic knife. The regular price on this is $30, and I got it for half that, so for $14.99. It's a six-inch blade, and it has the blade cover on it. And so I'm definitely looking forward to giving this a try. It looks like a great quality knife, and for 50% off the regular retail price, I'll take it. So the next thing I picked up from the kitchen area is another pair of KitchenAid products. It's a set of two kitchen shears. It's a smaller one and then a bigger one. And I definitely needed some new shears in my kitchen. If you have a husband like mine who uses the kitchen shears for stuff that he's not supposed to, then you may want to go pick up a stash like this and keep it stashed away in a drawer somewhere so you can use your kitchen shears for what you need to use it for, right? It has two. The bigger one says it's all-purpose shears, and then the smaller one is the, the utility shears. And they look like they're really great quality. Stainless steel blades, which is important. The regular price was $13.99, and the Tuesday morning price was $6.99. So half off that, and for a great pair of brand name and high quality kitchen shears, I'll take it. Now lately I've been obsessed with bamboo stuff for my kitchen, and I purchased recently actually, uh, I can't remember how long ago, but I did buy a set of these bamboo uh, spoons, it has like tongs and all kinds of different slotted spoons and things, and I got that at Tuesday morning actually. This whole kit right here cost me I think less than 20 bucks. So I've been using that lately and I absolutely love it. I have a few bamboo cutting boards, but they're kind of small. And so I definitely knew that I wanted to invest in a larger one. And I remember last time I went in the store, they had a few. So I was looking for the biggest one that I could find and I found this one. It's gorgeous. This regular price was $38, which is still, you know, 
pretty affordable for what these go for. And the Tuesday morning price was more than 50% off that. So I paid $17.99 for this. And you can see, great quality cutting board, nice and big. And I'm definitely going to put this to good use in my kitchen. Now something else that Tuesday morning has is a section on just like home goods and things to decorate your home, all kind of storage solutions and things like that. This time I was with my kids, surprisingly enough. They were behaving great and so we went down every aisle and when my daughter saw this thing, she saw it with all the little owls that it had and she asked for it. So I had no idea what it was. I reached in to check it out and it's a collapsible hamper. So it showed on the picture that it's pretty tall, 18 inches by 22 and I thought that this would be great for the kids to uh, have their own hamper in their room so they can bring it over to the laundry room and all that. And so I'll open it up so you guys can see it. And they had a few different prints and like kids designs and things. It has a zipper on top. It has two handles so the kids can carry it themselves. And this is like the perfect size for little kids, you know? So you can see, a really great size. And so she picked this one out with the owls and then my son saw this one and this one has like pirates on it. And so I got them both these little hampers to put in their room. So I thought they were cute, it was just something different. Not normally something I would go in there for, but again, I would have never thought to look for a collapsible hamper at Tuesday morning, right? Now for the price on these, the regular price is $12 and the Tuesday morning price was $6.99. So I paid $14 for both of them. I think that's not bad, it's a nice little bargain and for something that's functional and practical to have at home, collapsible with the zipper and the handle, the kids can drag their own clothes. I think this was definitely a great purchase. Now, let's bring out the big girl bag. I had to tie a knot on this because if my kids get into it, it was going to be a disaster. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I almost wiped out their entire yarn stash at the store. My Tuesday morning store has this big tall rack full of all kinds of yarn and you basically have to dig in there, see what you can find, which brands, which textures, they have a ridiculous assortment and I just went crazy in there. Of course, I was with my kids. So I'm like, do you guys like this one? You like this one, you like this one? And my daughter's like, the pink, the purple. You know, and they're just like picking out all these colors and I'm like, ah, oh, why not? Throw them in there. I am gonna have so much fun working on all types of projects with this yarn. And when I started looking through this stuff, I just could not believe the types of yarn that they had. I thought most of it was gonna be like the cheap, you know, acrylic stuff, no. This is all like brand name stuff, super high quality. This little bundle here, for example, is 100% extra fine merino wool. This stuff retails for $11 plus, okay? And I got it for $4.99. So you know I went crazy. Now here are a few that some of you might be familiar with the brand. This is Martha Stewart Crafts, which we all know is super pricey. Uh, it's a collaboration between Martha Stewart and Lion Brand Yarns. These are cotton hemp combinations. A washable 65% cotton, 35% hemp. These are great for all types of washcloths projects and things like that and they had them in a ton of different colors. Now the regular price on these is $5.50. No surprise there, right? The Tuesday morning price, $2.50. So I picked up a ton of colors. These hot pinks, orange, this baby blue. I got some little baby yarn here. These are Lion brand, which we know great quality. $4.50 regular price, and they're $1.50 at Tuesday morning. So I got a ton of these. They have great little variegated uh, yarns. I picked up this brown. This is 65% acrylic and 35% wool. So it's a nice soft blend. Again, Martha Stewart, Lion Brand. And they're $7.50 regular price for one of these little things. And I got it for $3.50. So, of course, I picked up some of those. Now, these, these are probably one of my favorite things that I picked up. And they're by, uh, the brand is Debbie McComber, I think. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. McComber or McComber. It's Blossom Street Collection. They're cashmere. Florida Lee, it says. This is 90% extra fine merino wool and 10% cashmere. This is super luxurious. Regular price, 13 bucks, and I got them for $6. $6, this one was $5. This is the merino wool. They're so soft, oh my goodness. This is heirloom tweed, it says. You can knit with this, you can felt with this. This is a blend, 90% wool. We all know how expensive wool can be and the natural fibers, right? This regular price, it says $8, and I got it for four bucks. It's great because it has like little specks of color going throughout it. Again, some of these Martha Stewart, the little ones, the little baby yarns. Again, $1.50 for each of these little bundles. Great, great, great prices. All these high quality fibers. I mean, if you go to a regular yarn store and purchase this stuff, it's going to be super expensive. So to get the closeout prices and still have the great quality at Tuesday morning, that's why I shop there, okay? 
this one is a brand that I've seen a lot of people mention online that they absolutely love. So I don't know anything about it. But when I saw it, I had to pick it up because I'm like, I've heard this before. It's called Ella Ray. Regular price is 9 bucks, and Tuesday morning, $3.99. This is another little bundle I picked up. This is $12.50 regular price, $4.99 Tuesday morning, and it is 100% cotton. I really like this olive color, so I got that. So that is my new yarn stash. <laughs> So now that you've seen my crazy new yarn stash that I built up just with the yarns I picked up at Tuesday morning, I hope you got a good look at the types of things that they carry there as well. They have a huge variety of items, and really it's hard to tell what they're going to have in stock because their inventory is always changing. So my recommendation to you is take the trip every couple of weeks and just walk through the aisles and see what you can get, especially in the clearance section as well, which is somewhere I like to shop and see what they have that you can pick up the great prices. Even the regular price stuff at Tuesday morning is a great bargain. I hope you all enjoyed this haul video. If you did, hit it with the thumbs up below, share it across the different social media sites, and don't forget to click that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Thanks again for watching. Use the link below to find your local Tuesday morning, and I'll see you all next time.